Invoices can be tricky to deal with, especially since you get a lot of them and you might want to bring them into one file. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to get loads of types of invoices, as you can see in the worksheet on the right here. And even though they're different formats, to bring them into spreadsheets. Now, we're going to look at this with a native Excel and also with this other tool called Lido. So let's get started. So if I take this folder path and copy it in the Excel data tab, you have get data from file and you can choose from PDF. And then you can paste it in here. And I'm going to choose this one. Then it is going to give me this sample table. So Excel is able to pick up that the PDF has a table in it. As we can see in the thumbnail, it looks kind of like that. And it hasn't got the other details because my PDF itself actually has a lot of other things outside the table, like the client name, the subtotal, the date issues, etc. So Excel is not really able to pick that up reliably unless it does the whole page, and then it gets pretty complicated to do this with Power Query to transform it. So I'm going to click on that, and I can click on Load. So it extracts just the table and not any of the rest of the data. So next, let's look at Lido, which is a great tool for extracting invoices, other PDFs, stuff from websites, stuff from emails, etc. The rest of this video is sponsored by Lido, which is a great app for extracting documents. Let's have a look. So we start off in app, and this is a free tool, but you can also pay to get more functionality. So I click on a new document, and I'm going to extract data. And now I can drag and drop these files here. So I'm going to start with this one. And as you can see, it doesn't have everything in the table. It's got, for example, date issued, client, et cetera, total. So it uses AI to try and figure out what are the fields that I want, but we can amend that in multiple ways. For example, quantity I want as the full word, like that, press enter. I can also edit it directly in the spreadsheet. So if I want to say invoice number, I can just change this to ref number like that and then edit it here if I want to make it up the case and I have date I don't want date issued I just want date and I can also add another one I'm going to add due date which is this one and notes you want this ticked extract multiple rows per document and this is typing in extra instructions with AI so I'm going to keep that as is but then we are going to amend it later on so I can go to extract and just get the first one. There we go. Pretty good what it's able to do. It's able to pick up all of those fields that I want to. But I'm going to add a couple more. So I'm actually going to add in invoice 005 as well. And that looks completely different to this one. It's a very, very simple document without a table because there's no line items. And it's got different things. So instead of client, it's called bill 2. But the AI is going to pick up that those are essentially the same thing. Although you can amend it because AI is never perfect as we know. And I'm also going to drag in invoice 003 in here. And if I click on extract for both or I can click on process all files. And it will do both of them that are outstanding. But I'm actually going to add in the file name. So add file name will give the file name which is alt1, alt3, etc. So I'm going to say that I want to redo this one. And if you click on process all files, it just adds below. And then we can delete the extra rows as needed. All right, so it's done it there. But a couple of things that are not ideal for this one. So it's said HRS because that's what the invoice says. The invoice actually, Alt 3 actually says HRS and this is not a number either. So those are not particularly useful. And you can see that the first two don't have the file name because I added that later on, but it has extracted the file name. File name, you do need to put these exact characters at file name, otherwise it won't extract it, but that data is coming from elsewhere. So I'm actually going to delete these two. And it is a spreadsheet app at the end of the day, so I can just delete the two rows. And I'm going to delete these two as well and reprocess them. So delete that as well. And that is from 003. We can see here that Alt 1 and 05 are okay. So the one that I want is this one. I'm going to click on that and then give it some more instructions here. So here's Alt 003. And I'm going to say, you can see it's got 
price per hour and HRS. So I'm going to say that I don't want that. So or for quantity and unit price, it should just extract the numbers and not the text. E.g. 3HRS should show just 3. And all should be formatted as numbers for these two columns. So I'm going to click on extract over here. And there we go. It's done a pretty good job at figuring out exactly what I wanted to do. Now I can press X out of this. Now you may have seen that I've got due date in twice. So I can just simply delete this column. And then if I go back to extract data, then it is not showing there. So super easy to go from one or the other. If I want to get this data into Excel, I can just copy it like this and then paste it into Excel. Or you can also export to Excel and it downloads the file. It will do pretty much the same thing. However, just to know a couple of things, note your formatting in Excel might not be exactly the same. So within Excel, it might be useful to go through the text to columns with it here and then choose next a couple of times and then date we can choose here mdy this is a trick that a lot of people don't know to switch from month day year to day month year for me that works really well and then also here if it formats it as text you could give it extra instructions in this case it seems to have worked and this can just be formatted like that so yeah, so this is how you can extract it to Excel. Just say note that extracting to Excel via copy and paste or download is with the paid version of the app. If you want to do a similar thing on the free version, what you can do is you can screenshot it. So my favorite things for screenshots is Windows Shift S and then you can draw around it. Much better than screenshotting with print screen your entire screen. Then brand new in Excel, you have data and you have from picture and picture from clipboard. So this will try and use AI to extract it. It's not perfect. You can change it in the wizard here if you want to. But I'm just going to go insert data and it says you have to check it. There is a way to do that if you want to extract it for free. Otherwise, the page versions of Lido kind of looks like this. So for free versions, you can do 20 PDF conversions, different actions, connected rows, etc. And then you can get the different paid packages to look like this. And you cannot export to Excel or other spreadsheets with the free version in the way that I showed you. But yeah, you can do it through the image. But I hope you've enjoyed that video. My name is David Lano and I have tons of videos on spreadsheets and other apps. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So check out my other videos if this was useful for you. Thanks for watching.